Hello, Jacob here, with a recap of the Hall of Fame game against the Pittsburgh Steelers in which the Minnesota Vikings won, 14-3. Now, a few things that I will uh, mention about this game that kind of got me either, you know, looking positively or negatively are, uh, well, first of all, Teddy Bridgewater looked really, really solid. I mean, he looked in sync from the get-go. The debut of Mike Wallace really wasn't all that flashy, but then again, he only played like two plays. And he almost had a catch and an end around that really didn't work out that well. And all that stuff. But argue, the surprise of the night, I would say, or not really surprise, but just kind of basically uh, stamping my point about this Michael Pruitt our fifth round draft pick out of Southern Illinois four receptions for 51 yards and a touchdown nice little 34 yarder from Mike Kafka to give us well our first touchdown of the year <laughs> there's also the first touchdown of the preseason you know <laughs> So, it was nice to see, you know, the small FCS tight ends, you know, getting in on the action. As well as, you know, seeing our backups perform pretty well. Even though, later on in the game, there were a couple of really, uh, <laughs> kind of, whoa, plays. Like, well, case in point, I think it was, it was either Kafka or Hineke who uh, threw the ball, bounced off of Chase Ford's hands, and right into the uh, defender over in Pittsburgh. Can't quite remember his name. Only to then, on the very next play, <laughs> their backup quarterback ended up throwing an interception right back to us. So, <laughs> you know, kind of <laughs> interesting how that stuff works out, isn't it? And also, you know, another positive thing that I will note is uh, Stefan Dix with that solid solid punt return that should have been a touchdown but there was this much green in between him and the out-of-bounds line but then again I can also see why they probably uh, went the way they did just because well let's be honest here a lot of times they go with what they call in the field if they don't have indisputable evidence. So, I mean, it didn't matter because Joe Banyard ended up running it in for a one yard touchdown anyway. So, <laughs> you know, all, all, you know, all in all, it really didn't affect us at all. But a couple of down points Trey Wentz, our first round draft pick. <laughs> I mean, granted, I know it's, you know, first preseason game, you know, first round draft pick. You're going to be a little nervous, but I don't know. It looked like he got burnt a few times there. Got a couple of uh, penalties called against him. I think a P.I. and a holding, if I remember right. But, mm, you know, again, to be, you know, expected. <laughs> For a uh, first-time player going out on the field and showing what he's made of. Even though it was kind of bad that I didn't get a chance to see Anthony Barr, though, because he was injured and didn't even make the trip. But, eh, yeah, we'll see him eventually. And also, uh, <laughs> moving forward, one thing that I really want to see now is more of our first-team offense just a little bit more to kind of get, you know, at least a couple of series. I know moving forward, we'll see more and more of them. But also, I want to see, for this receiving core, who is really stepping up big time. I mean, Adam Thielen, case in point, he had a few really nice catches. Stephon Diggs looking really good. Cordero Patterson, again, he flashed a little bit, but... If, you know, for a first-round pick back in 2013, we expect a little bit more, but then again, at the same time, 
he really wasn't out there a lot on the field, so really won't know until we actually use him more. However, though, he did have a nice little return out of the back of the end zone. So, uh, <laughs> I think needless to say, Marcus Sherrill's days of being a Minnesota Viking are slim, limited, dwindling by the moment. So, <laughs> be interesting to see there. Also be interesting to see who we cut. And, uh, all that stuff, so... Yeah, I mean, moving forward, again, also just kind of wrapping this up here. Expect more Vikings videos in the next, well, throughout the whole season, hopefully. But do know that I'm, you know, I'm not sure exactly how busy I'm going to be, just because, you know, I am a college student after all. And our first game of the year is against the 49ers at 9.20 my time, so... <laughs> It's going to literally be midnight before, you know, the game ends. And if I have classes, you know, like 8 or 9 in the morning, it's going to make for a fun morning, but, eh, you know. <laughs> I bleed purple and gold and will till the day I die. So, this is uh, Jacob, and also stay tuned for all my jersey heads out there. I have a huge, huge pickup of a Hall of Famer that just got inducted this past year. 2015 so stay tuned for that and uh, also stay tuned for my state of the collection videos as I will show off some more of my stuff and also tomorrow marks my one year anniversary on YouTube so until we meet again this is Jacob Skull Vikings and have a good night